but I love, love, love Luke. You know, he's goofy, but he still has that sharp Parisian wit. And I love that he's truly so um, Sylvie's partner. And I, and I enjoy that. And I enjoy that you're the other adult. Yet you are kind of like, at first glance, you can kind of be waved off. But no, you are a powerhouse in your own right. There's something else at play, though, I think, Darren Starr. I think that there is an opportunity for Sylvie and Luke to get it on. If only Ooh. for one night. Remember? If only for one night. I And I thought it was going to happen with the opera. Listen, I totally agree. Uh. I don't know why ever since season one, I told Darren, there's something happening between the <laughs> two. Remember? <laughs> Yes. I want to see that. Or, or maybe oh. it's already happened. Right. Oh, but then that means that we can revisit. Absolutely. <laughs> of course. Because we need to see it on scene. I mean, on the, on the, on the screen, darling. It would be I'm the taking, dream of the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> Since the season one, she said to me, come on. And I said, don't tell to Darren if you want to, to that happen. So... We we waiting for Darren maybe it would be a pleasure so, obviously because I, I love the scene with the with the uh, landlord uh -huh. and you yeah. at dinner and yeah. the way that he's looking at you and the way you do mm -hmm. that oh my gosh wait did something happen between them yeah <laughs> I would love I would love to I go to the opera yeah four. yeah we want to know what happens well can I get a co-writing credit for that if it happens well, yeah, for, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't Gosh, work that way. It doesn't work that way. Are you sure? Anything is possible in the Darren Star universe.